Okay, what's up? So, welcome to a kind of dodgy uh, edition. We are going to look at a couple of paint shops. Hang on a second, oh, I have no mirrors, so this makes it kind of difficult. Okay, so as I said, we're going to a couple of local paint places today. One of them is about five minutes from my house. So I'm gonna skip it over there, a bit kind of sketchy style. I have no mirrors, I have no interior, no tacks. <laughs> so hopefully we won't encounter the 5 0 anywhere. We won't talk to him, see what he's like timeline wise and to get the job done. Uh, as I said, not too concerned with cost, but just to see how soon he can do it and how long it'll take and all that, you know. So we go as far as him first, and then there's another guy about 10 minutes past him. Not far, you just see how sketchy it is, the door just flew open. And there's a guy coming fucking flying behind me. Uh, so yeah, we go and talk to him. Uh, I don't like to be too intrusive with the camera in other people's places, so we'll see. Um, might record something, might not. If he says no, fine, it's not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> the guy that was right up my arse is just after giving me a really weird look. Um, so yeah, I'll be back when I have something to, to report. Right, that went pretty good. Um, yeah, he's been able to do it. Uh, not that I doubt that he would be able to do it, but yeah, he said he can take it on, no problem. It's gonna be, I, I don't know if you can hear me or not. Uh, he said it'd be about a month, maybe six weeks before he could do it and he would probably have it for about four weeks as well so that's not too bad give me time to get you know a couple of other things ready and a few other small detail jobs done so i'll go to the guy in the other side of the town talk to him i imagine it'll be much the same and um, i don't expect anyone to be able to get a take on the job like this at the drop of the hat but or the drop of a hat but we'll ask him and we'll see what he says um, while I'm while I'm here and while I'm talking to you, but it's so fucking cool to be driving this thing again. Like I've only driven it for 10 minutes here now, you know, 15 minutes maybe, um, and it's so much fucking fun. It's such a cool car to drive. Like it turns so many head. Like everyone I'm passing is looking at it. It's so much fun to drive this thing. Like it's so cool, and it drives really, really nice. I really, I don't see why it wouldn't. Like essentially everything is new, you know. So yeah, we'll carry on as far as this guy. I gotta stop at the house for a minute and get some stuff and again, we'll be back once he's spoken to him. All right, just back from the other place. So yeah, much the same. Um, he said he's got like three cars on at the minute. Uh, two that are, one is pretty much finished, two that need to be finished. So I would be after that, but it would be, excuse me, we said, early July, end of June, early July. So he said he'd like to think he'll have those other cars finished in a month. I would take that with a week or two of um, extra. So both guys have said, yeah, no problem, they can do it. And both of them are around kind of uh, end of June, early July. So one guy priced it, I won't say who's who. Uh, one fella priced it, he said, the, the, and I knew this going in, but like the kind of baseline to paint a whole car nowadays is about three Gs roughly, that, that, that's fine. More than happy with that. Um, with a bit of bodywork that's needed and like lining up the gaps and stuff like that. Cause like you saw yourself, the doors are flying open. The the grill, you know, it doesn't fit properly. The headlights don't fit properly. The bonnet doesn't close, all the shit. So with all of that lining up as well, adjusting them gaps and all that kind of stuff, bodywork, blah, blah, blah. Because somewhere between three and a half and four, I'm perfectly happy with that. More than happy with that, that's fine. Um, the other guy said, Kind of about the same he didn't really price it as such like a definite kind of figure which is fine i don't price someone's full sleeve from the start either so i know there's always a bit of wiggle room in it um he said the last time he did a full car like inside the doors and everything that's another thing that will add to the cost i sh should have mentioned that but they probably assumed having seen the car um he said it was about four four and a half something like that so either way i'm happy with anywhere in that three and a half to four and a half grand window it's absolutely fine um so what they did both ask was for me to when it, you know whenever we're going ahead with it, i think what i'll just do is i'm going to think about it for the next couple of weeks because i've loads of time it's only the last week of may now so it's at least 
four or six weeks before to be going to whoever it goes to. But in the meantime, I can kind of have a think about who I want to have do it. Um, cause the, the first fella I went to, the local guy, he painted uh, my daily, my new daily. I'll stick a picture up of it here. And I was super happy with uh, how that came out. Uh, price, time, everything. He did it really good and it came out very, very tidy. Really, really nice. So I'd be happy to give the job to him. But he's also the guy that, you know, he wasn't exactly sure timeline-wise. The other guy, um, I have never priced or never gotten work off him before. But I know people that have and it looks fantastic. And uh, the homie Sean has seen his work and has you know, said it's fantastic as well. So really it'll be kind of a case. I ring them both at the end of July. And if one says, yeah, cool, bring it to me next week, and the other says, bring it to me in three weeks, it'll be whoever says, give it to me in a week, because I want to get, like if I give it to them at the start of July, have it back by, let's say, middle of August at the latest. Not really, like, it, I kind of have swallowed the fact now that I'm not going to get summer out of it, which, not big of a deal. It's not, I'm not that concerned. The fact that it's ready, you know, and will be painted is fine. It means then over the winter, if I really have to, I can... I can take my time, you know, putting the air suspension back in and all that stuff. But usually, more often than not, September is pretty nice here. And October, the last couple of years, has been kind of mild. So we'll see. You never know. I might get September and October out of it too. But um, other than that, yeah, sorry, I'm rambling. What they did ask was for me to, just to make it easier on them, was to say strip the, you know, pull the back lights out of it. Um, pull the the side mouldings off the doors um, pull the chrome trim off the side you know the moulding around the windows stuff like that just to make it easier so it's less work for them because you know there could be a day in stripping mouldings and you know stripping shit like that the interior is already out of it so that's fine <coughs> so what I think I'll do in the meantime the next couple of weeks uh, while I'm just kind of messing around and waiting I'll get a few little detailed things done like I said like clips that I ordered and shit like that and tidy up little things in the front i'm gonna put the the two new drive shafts in it a um, couple of things like that so uh the next clip that you will see will be me stripping all the stuff off the off the side of it for paint so let's go <laughs> A little side note from the <clears throat> from the time lapse there is, as you've seen, I've taken up the wiper cowl and usually, on I have a little bit of very 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 light surface just down there, but I can lift this panel and give it a little roll back and treat it. But everywhere else, it's, I know it's kind of difficult to see there now, but even up under there, up along here where it meets the windscreen, it's fine now. You never know; there could be rust like under the, where the glass is, but like looking at where it is even along there is all nice and clean same over here where the wiper motor is aside from just being you know dusty and loads of shite and dead flies where is he um in it it's fine nice and clean up under there thankfully so that's a good one to know nothing to really worry about there just blow the crap out of that and keep going <clears throat> okay, as you've seen, the windscreen mouldings are out. There's a tiny little Phillips down there, and a bunch of these little clips the whole way up, whatever it is, five or six of them up the length of it, and then a bunch across the top there. Same the other side. Now, I'm sure anyone that's familiar with the, what people call the golden era of Hondas, you've seen all those clips before, and you know exactly how easy it is to bust them. I did break, uh, not the, the other side of that one, say the. the receiving side of that one um, but the rest of them are okay pretty good shape um, got the 
door trim I suppose you call it for want of a better term it's supposed to those clips are supposed to come with the the trim but like I can only assume now I haven't had any of these off since the car was painted like five years ago six years ago maybe so I couldn't remember exactly what was going on now there is kind of a shitty sort of spot just there I'll give that a little rub and a bit of a treatment I hope there's no holes or anything up there but I wouldn't be surprised um, those clips are a pain to get out in one piece so I can only assume I think that I'll have to check I think that one came with the molding but um, obviously you can't get to the back of it to pinch the clip to get them out so it's quite a pain so I don't remember for certain but I think the guy that painted it for me before must have just painted it with those like the trim off I can't remember if I took the trim off or if he did but either way it's the same this side you can see where there's paint on the clips so it would have just been painted with the clips thrown in it and the, the trim put back on but that's fine and then I never realized before but I'm missing a clip for that trim piece over there which I don't have I might see if they're available online but I I doubt it but realistically it's not too much of an issue I could just you know it's never leaked or anything and there's no sign of any rust around there so I guess it'll be a case of just stick the trim back on and not worry about it I guess or maybe even like as ghetto as it sounds stick a bunch of tape over it or seal it up or something I don't know but um god I hate taking trims off something like this with uh, any any car whether it's a newer car or an old car because it's so easy to break those little shitty clips but especially when it's something old where the clips are by now 30 odd years old now luckily I have spares of almost everything like I have a bunch of these guys I have a bunch of these guys down here I have both sides of it I'll actually while I'm here I'll show you the other sides of it um the yellow ones there and then i believe there yeah you can see a bit of a pink one there that i busted taking that off but i have a bunch of spares from the donor car and i think i bought some of them online before they're not oe ones but they're like chinese ones they're fine they're work around so <clears throat> the next thing to take off as we're going now is the trim around the back window and now this one is a fucking pain to be honest with you because the way that's it's hard to explain that one has a big bulky clip or like bulky foot on it if that makes sense and it goes there's a screw that goes down through it down through the body and as the screw tightens it pushes out the clip to kind of hold it in place so what you need to do is thread the screw thread the screw all the way out then physically like with your thumb push it back down which pushes the clip past the do i have one of the other bits of trim i could show you not that it matters like you don't give a fuck you're not the one that has to do it i suppose but uh anyway it's just it's a pain in the balls um it's quite difficult but we'll have a go at that. i might leave that for another day um i'm not quite sure just because it's such a pain in the arse but other things that need to come off is <clears throat> the chrome strip along the door there which is also a pain because i'm probably not going to be i think you need to have the window out to to show you or at least down yeah but there's a couple of trim clips on that that are quite difficult like they're a weird shape and the only way i've ever gotten them off so even when when I like the other set of doors that I have when I stripped those I got all the trim clips off except for that one there's five trim five clips on it uh four of them come off fine and the fifth one then is just a weird shape it, it's like something maybe you need a special tool to get it or something like it kind of clips in from behind and then like loops it's, it's hard to describe um it's a pain in the bollocks to get off to be honest so uh, but also I have some spares of those so if I do break it I guess it shouldn't be so bad I'm just hoping that I don't bend the the actual trim itself uh, when I'm taking it off because on the original doors from that car the guy that were painted for me originally bent three out of the four of them now it wasn't super noticeable but say for example like there would be a kink there it's just the tiniest little just kink in it there and that kind of stuff annoys me the clip along there was what the one of the ones that was busted so that never sat flush properly now i was talking to the painter about getting a little strip of like uh what do you call it tape up under that little plastic lip or that little rubber lip i don't know if you can make it out or not and try and kind of fold it back on itself and maybe that would help just for the sake of not breaking clips or anything because obviously like most things they're not available anymore so he said but so you probably could do it but you'd most likely end up with kind of an obvious sort of tape line which i don't really I'm not, I, I could live with i'm not really too bothered by it but also like, if i'm going this far you know there's no point kind of falling at the last hurdle so to speak so uh, another thing to come off is the door strip moldings there they're easy to come off a couple of clips on the inside uh three or four on the other ones um i try and keep them in one piece because obviously it's nice to have spares but also 
they're worth a couple of quid apparently the the americans love those skinny ones because on you can kind of see from down the length of the door it's quite a shallow uh trim whereas the americans ones they kind of they come out real chunky and back down and then fall in or something it's, it's kind of if i can find a picture of one i'll put one up but again you don't really give a shit so anyway um but i do have i bought off a guy in malaysia i'll put a link to his page um Bosmat, he's the homie um he's some really really cool stuff if you happen to be watching this and you need stuff for say efs crx's cbs uh cds uh what else has he got mostly it's kind of again like i said earlier golden era hondas da integras dc integras stuff like that um that kind of stuff must be still super popular over there or at least easy to get at and in good condition but anyhow i got the door moldings off him from i'm not sure what like the the higher trim level is was called like an se or there was a 10th anniversary one as well i'm not sure but anyway it has a lovely um what's it called like chrome strip through the middle of the molding um which looks really really tidy so that should also look well with the the chrome strip along there and the chrome up around the door frame too so i think i'm gonna do the door trims now these guys here and then forget about that back window trim for a while i'm not in the humor to potentially make a balls of that today but uh, we'll carry on Okay, that all went pretty smoothly, thankfully. I'm pretty surprised, to be honest. All these little the clips for the mouldings, there's one in there that always kind of breaks. There's the awkward one I was talking about for the back window. Usually those little legs on the end of it break or whatever. Um, the guys for the trim clips, or for the side moulding, I mean, they usually break. Um, not such a big deal. They all came out okay. And I have a few spares off the donor car, but they came out okay, thankfully. They're in awkward positions, like say, that red one I just showed you. Like that's how close it is to the inside of the door. So getting access in there from inside is very, very difficult without breaking the clip or just like yanking the molding off. But anyway, they all came out fine, so no worries there. Uh, one thing I did discover that you would have seen in my little funny clip there <laughs> was, which I kind of knew was going to be there, that little hole there there was two or three little bubbles there for gears and i knew well because that that whole section has been repaired a couple of years ago if i can find a picture i'll put a picture in of the repairs uh, and there is also a small little hole just there you can barely see with my finger now they are way too close for comfort for me to try welding the window or way too close to the window for me to try and weld them i'd probably get away with that one but i imagine that blow holes straight away like and that would that small hole would end up that big you know and i'd end up having to kind of weld down into this channel and we'll I just, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna worry about it so what i'm gonna do is mix up a bit of that two part like like the jb weld stuff you hear people talking about americans talking about all the time uh basically smear a bit of that into it it'll be getting filled over and then painted over hope for the best one other uh little bit of damage i found the trim piece that goes here there's a a hole for a clip right there. It's kind of oh yeah, you can see it there at the square squarish part. You can see it there and all the damage around it. So I was gonna just cut a piece and just weld straight over that, but you kind of need that hole for um to locate the trim. Uh, so I'll have to repair that. Not too much of an issue to do that. Uh, the same position on the other side is fine. Uh, other than that, the back window trim came out all in one piece. Came out pretty good. Uh, so next step is to try and take off the back door handles bit of a pain you need to take out well you don't have to but it's easier to take out the entire lock and the handle because again access is just two 10 mils at the back of it but the one on this side is extremely difficult to get at because the lock is in the way you might be able to kind of wiggle your way around it but it's easier just pop the whole thing out pop those out um i might i'll probably just put the white ones into the car because the painters obviously when they're lining up the doors will need to be open and closing and open and closing um and it's just it probably they're going to need them there to paint anyway so to, to save them having to try and get them out i'll just take them out and put the white ones in so last i also got the um badges off the back that one's for one of the little kind of studs or for want of a better word they're broke 
that one is fine but i have three of those i think off the spares cars that i've broken before uh lastly um that's about it i have to take the little bits of side molding off the front wings there uh, but that's just one clip that's easy done that is about it um other than that spray a little bit of primer on that area over there for the night and then that will be calling it quits then uh got the number plate lights out of the boot lid boot lid is a little bit rustier than i thought uh but not too crazy but if the painter says it's easier to just get another one or like easier than trying to tidy up and treat and paint that one um on the underside i have two more in my cousin's storage in the storage place next door so i can bring over one of them i'm sure one of them will be in a bit better condition the only thing is i might have to try and get that spoiler off that's a fiberglass replica um of an oe flush mount spoiler that i do the malaysia makes nice really really nice piece so i might be able to get that off with a bit of heat and like a you know like windscreen wire or whatever you would call that stuff but um I, I don't know if it'll come off or not because I tiger sealed that on a couple of years ago. Now if I had to, I think this, I think this spoiler was like eighty euros or something like that, or maybe a hundred, probably a bit more than a hundred euros now. But um, I'll have to double check if the dude still makes them. But if it's easier to use a different boot lid and a new spoiler, fine, not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some of these guys out, like what I was talking about the last day. I think it'll be easier to try and get them out, pop them back into the molding because you know, and then pop the molding and the clips all into one in, on in one piece because they're they'd be kind of difficult to pinch into the mold and while they're on the car um yeah so we'll keep going pop off the door handles and then try and get these uh chrome trims here off i just need to connect the master switch back up to the the door so i can put the windows down so let's keep going we're doing all right yeah nearly ready right before we go any further the little holes on the roof um, I'll show you what I got. This is the stuff that I've gotten. Now I've seen it before. It's essentially like a roll of, almost like a roll of dough, if that makes sense. You would just cut off whatever the amount. I just cut a tiny enough sliver and you kind of, you mush it together until the two colors kind of become uniform. You end up with something like that and then you know, you pick off whatever little bit that you need. <clears throat> so I have a little bit put in there. You can see the difference in color. And the same up there. I just put way more, obviously, than is needed because apparently, well, you can't see it now, but it used to say it down here. Apparently, you can, like, you can drill that stuff once it's set. You can drill it, tap it, sand it, machine it, all that kind of stuff. So how good it's going to be, I don't know. But I guess in the same as I said in one of the other videos, the little hole around the boot seal or underneath the boot seal um, that was a bit too close to the window to chance welding as well. Um, if both of those fail down the line, then I'll just risk it and have the back window taken out and I can weld up the two of them properly then with no, no real issues. But um, for now, I guess that stuff will work. I watched a few other people's videos and it seems fine, so time will tell. Right, let me show you how we got on with the door mouldings. So I've gotten them off, all four. A pair on both sides. Some of the clips stayed in, just popped out of the trim itself, which is fine. It's, it just pops back down into it. A couple of casualties along the way, you know. Um, you can see that yellow clip has a little piece broken off it there. Now, realistically, I don't think it'll matter really. I might try and super glue it back on just there, but I think there'll still be enough in that to hold it. And a bunch of these guys, they are supposed to, well, I can't show you now because the windows are up, but they kind of sit down over the, the trim like that and they pop into it. A little kind of pocket that's down there if that makes sense and then inside that kind of looped shape there is what goes into the molding you can see as such there so there's a lot of pressure on those to get them out of the car so i did pretty well in fairness to get so many out without busting them but as i said there was a couple of casualties there is that same yellow clip that's broken there the red one has a little piece off it as well but again shouldn't really matter too much uh those two are for the rear doors there is that clip on the back that blue one there which is the one that usually breaks that i mentioned before it came off fine on the back uh, of both of them but on the front it broke on for the driver's side uh, and it stayed solid or it came out complete on the other side so now the piece that's broken off that it's on the floor somewhere i'm not sure where it went or if it fell down into the door but i thought i saw it take off uh, when it broke so maybe just for for curiosity more than anything else i might try and super glue it back on um and see if it works 
great if not it'll be okay um i took down some of my other trims to see if i had now as i meant to see i do have another one of those clips there and i think i have yeah i have a complete one there so i might be able to it's common that they break on the driver's side so anyway i might be able to pop that out of there and then pop it into the the good moldings that are there but uh, i just realized that one's a little bit bent there i'll replace that one um but yeah they came out reasonably well it was actually it turned out to be more of a pain than expected like to do it properly without just literally just sending it and just yanking them off and breaking all the clips you need to take off the side more the little pillar covers or whatever there which means you have to pull back seals and blah 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 um i couldn't get the other window over there down last night because i didn't realize the window regulator was blown uh so it took me like an hour and a half to figure out that there was something wrong what the wrong thing was try and go like full russian and fix it without replacing it uh, and then not be able to do it you can see it right there just to i assume there's the coil or magnet whatever's in there i had it open last night it'll spin one way but not the other so that's no good to me but i have spare window rakes that won't be a big deal so put those away safe uh kind of take a stock of what i have in regards to clips oh i just spotted that bit of green clip in there i might be able to get that out and glue it back on uh which again may not may or may not work so the next thing to do oh yeah i got one of the handles on i need to do the other ones um and then that's kind of it there will be the little weld repair up there but i, I haven't even bothered getting to that yet i mightn't even put that into this video but we'll see but uh, as for a little update on the stuff it's definitely like rock solid i assume now you could probably just get a screw and if you really went to town on it you could probably get a screwdriver and just poke a hole in it or something but like for all the world it's solid i guess um so yeah carry on with the door handles and then i think that'll be it then it'll be ready to to go for paint hopefully in the coming uh couple of weeks so here we are ready to go for paint the white door handles are on so the lads can open and close the doors easily when they're lining them up uh, i tried to take a couple of those clips off like i mentioned before but that one came off with the trim that one just the side of it broke so it's no good that one exploded into about four million pieces i did get that little repair done just up there i might stick a few photos in that one it went okay uh very hard to to square out a hole and keep it like very very square so it's close enough um door handles on on this side so it's all ready to go um it's just put back together enough to actually go for paint like obviously there's no point in me putting the whole car back together absolutely perfect and then for lads to strip it all apart again you know for then me to have to put it back together again you know so anyway um yeah front wings are on bonnets on uh grill is back in i need to stick in the corner lights just there i forgot about those uh found a little bit of um rusty shitty stuff inside the sunroof you can it's kind of hard to make out there now but you can kind of see it so rub back that stuff as best i could and just treated it i'm not really to be honest with you i'm not that worried about it i don't really open the sunroof and to be honest i think i will be putting the well not that i think i definitely will be putting the the oe sunroof visor on it which kind of latches in under there anyway so like keeping the sunroof closed will help that stay in place and not fly off when you're doing like 50, 50 or 60 miles an hour anyway so realistically sunroof will be staying closed all the time anyway um other than that all oh yeah i have to stick on the wing mirrors they're wrapped up in a cloth there on top of the the boot so other than that it went pretty smooth uh, it was nice to break out the old the old welder again it was it was pretty cool uh also found out it's not a regulator that's broken in the window it's a bad switch so i can just pull a switch from the uh, donor car but that stuff is all up in the attic that's kind of a pain but that's the kind of small thing that can be done whenever that's not uh, going to stop it going to get painted um other than that i think that's about it i was going to wait and actually finish up this video as it was going for paint like I, i'm driving it over or whatever but i think um just because that could be another couple of weeks i think i'll just end it here and um put this one up as a separate video maybe make another one as it's going but probably be no need i'd say but other than that um i'm happy with how it went it went pretty smooth it's so nice to see progress again like i keep saying um little repairs and little jobs and stuff like that it's really nice like it was so cool the last day when i spotted that little shitty repair that was needed right there 
so nice and the great comfort in just being able to go yeah just weld that up it's brilliant it's brilliant so a uh, bit of a messy episode I will say kind of chopping and time lapsing and although I don't think I had any time lapses but anyway yeah a bit of a messy episode so if you stuck with it this long well done um, and we'll be back hopefully in another couple of weeks time I might have one other small thing to do in between while we're waiting on paint but we'll see what happens so for now anyway uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one